So is Milani's signature weapon Surf's Upward get in or not? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the weapon on multiple characters and see if you should wish for this weapon or no. Now, I just want to say a disclaimer before we start. This weapon is going to be good for Milani. It's going to be her best in the slot, a good weapon, um, much better than any of her other options. So if this is what you came for, then this is your answer. This video is not about how good this weapon is for Milani herself. It's more of like a general review for the weapon for your whole account. I'm going to review on all of the characters and see if it's worth to get in for your account as like an investment in general or no that's pretty much it just wanted to clear this up but before you do that though if you want to go for her weapons you're gonna need some genesis crystals the best and cheapest way to buy genesis crystals is gonna be throughout loot bar gg loot bar is gonna be a very safe and secure top up website where you can buy different games currencies including genshin impact if you want to buy from there you'd want to click the link in the description you go to the website choose the game for example genshin impact and then choose an offer for example this offer here is going to cost me around 50 dollars in the official game store on loot bar is going to cost me 43.23 dollars that's around seven dollars or 15 percent save and with coupons you can have even more discounts with loot bar you can save up to 20 percent when buying your genesis crystals but yeah you just want to choose your offer um enter your user id and region make sure they're right click on top up now um enter your payment information and then just click on proceed after you do that you just want to wait a couple minutes and then open up your game and the genesis crystals are going to be there those are some reviews from their website they're very safe and secure Use the link in the description to get your Genesis Crystals from Loot Bar now. Alright, so back to the video, starting off with the weapon. First of all, it's going to have a low base stack for a 5-star. At level 90, it's going to have 542, which is pretty low for a 5-star weapon. I mean, some 4-stars are going to have higher base stack than that, so yeah. But it's going to make up for that with a huge crit damage substat. It's going to give you 88% crit damage, which is very, very huge. It's pretty much just by equipping this weapon, you're not going to need any more crit damage. So yeah, already we can see it's a decent stat stick to have in general. Low base stack, but it's still higher for like a weapon in general. It's just slow for a five star weapon and then the huge crit damage substat is going to be a decent stat stick on a lot of characters but still moving on to its passive first of all it's going to increase your hp by 20 percent it's just a flat 20 percent hp increase so any character who equips this weapon is going to have their hp increased by 20 percent but for the rest of the passive first of all we have once every 15 seconds for 14 seconds after using your elemental skill so you can only use this effect once every 15 seconds but it's going to last for 14 seconds so it's just one second of downtime but yeah to trigger it after you do your elemental skill, it's going to give you four stacks already. And then each stack is going to increase your normal attack damage by 12%. So at a total, it's going to give you 48% normal attack damage, which is super, super huge. But moving on to the non-fun part of this um, passive, for the duration of this effect, once every 1.5 seconds, lose one stack after a normal attack hits an opponent. So every 1.5 seconds, you're going to lose one stack. Now, I'm not really quite sure how this is going to work because the weapon is not released yet if someone knows for sure let me know in the comments because it says once every 1.5 seconds and then after using a normal attack like after a normal attack hits an opponent so is the 1.5 seconds like a cooldown for losing stacks if you hit opponents with like two normal attacks within 1.5 seconds do you not lose another stack for the second normal attack i'm not sure how this is going to work or it's just either like one of the two 1.5 or a normal attack so you can lose like stacks faster i'm not sure what this 1.5 seconds is exactly Exactly. I think it's most likely a cooldown on losing stacks. But yeah, I'm really not sure. Just let me know in the comments. I want to know like how this is going to work for sure if you know. But yeah, either way, it's not gonna really going to affect things as much. The scenario I think of is that you're going to keep the stacks for uh, 6 seconds. Or at least keep some damage bonus for 6 seconds. So like you're going to be losing 1 stack every 1.5 seconds. And this is a cooldown for like losing stacks. And in that case, you're just going to be losing stacks every 1.5 seconds. That's pretty much it. So yeah, you can keep parts of the buffs for 6 seconds. After 6 seconds the whole buff is going to be gone and this weapon's passive is going to be non-existent pretty much but the good part is that once every 1.5 seconds too you can gain one stack after triggering a vaporized reaction on an opponent so if you trigger a vaporized reaction with the character using this weapon you're going to gain one stack but it also has a cooldown for 1.5 seconds you start off with four so as long as you keep triggering vaporizes you can keep the four stacks active for 100 percent uptime if you're not triggering vaporizes or your vaporizes 
prices are not consistent or something like that in that case you might not be able to do that and you're gonna be losing stacks and you might run out of stacks um, after six seconds if you're not triggering any vaporizes so if a character is not pyro or hydro they're gonna run out of stacks eventually after six seconds and then the weapon is gonna be without a passive but yeah either way if it's used fully as i said before it's gonna give you 20 percent hp from the passive and a 48 percent normal tax damage bonus plus the crit damage from the substat so moving on to the characters who can use this weapon i mean just right away you guys can see it's a very restricted weapon in general first of all your character needs to be using normal attacks as like a big source of their damage to benefit from this weapon because all the buffs is going to be your normal attacks and then the second thing they need to be either hydro or pyro to be able to trigger a vaporized reaction and they need to be played in a vaporized team if all these things are not present then in that case this weapon is just not going to work it's only going to be a statistic but yeah it's just weapons these days is they're very limited it's the new norm at this point so yeah moving on to characters as i said for a character to be able to fully use this weapon they need to be pyro or hydro they need to be able to be played in a vaporized team and then finally they need to use their normal attacks as a main source of damage so yeah starting off with lisa obviously she's not pyro or hydro so the whole passive is not going to be usable because she's not going to be able to trigger vaporize so this weapon is not going to be able to be used on lisa barbara i mean if you're using like dps barbara i guess so but the problem Problem is Barbara as a DPS is mainly gonna be charge attacking. I think. Um, I think she still uses some normal attacks though, so that's okay for a DPS Barbara. I mean, I guess it works. But like, who's using Barbara as a DPS anyways? So yeah, Ning Wong. Obviously, she cannot trigger vaporize, so she cannot really benefit this weapon. She just simply cannot unlock as passive, so it's not gonna be usable on her except as a stat stick. We've got Klee. She's pyro. She deals a lot of damage with her normal attacks, and she also can be played in vaporize scenes. I think most of her best teams are going to be vaporized with either like Shing Shou or Fiona or whatever. So she's going to be able to use this weapon fully. I think it's probably going to be one of her best weapons. I'm not sure if it's her best in the slot. I think Rizli's weapon might be a little better. But in general, this weapon is going to be pretty good too. Probably like her second or third best in general. The thing is though, I kind of forgot uh, how Klee is supposed to be played. But if I remember correctly, she has like multiple play styles. And you can play her with like normal attacks or just like mix up charge attacks and normal attacks. Obviously if you're using this weapon on her you'd want to maximize using your normal attacks because this weapon is not going to be able to buff your charge attacks so you don't want to use them as much but yeah in general it's going to be a very good weapon on Klee. Moving on to Mona, I think she can use this weapon too if you're playing her as like a, an on-field DPS or like hyper carry. I'm not sure how viable these teams still are. I haven't looked into like Mona teams in a long time. But if that's still the case, then yeah, she's gonna be able to use this weapon. You're gonna be vaporizing with Mona sometimes at least if you're using like a pyro off-field enabler with her. So you're probably gonna be able to keep a decent amount of stacks. And yeah, she's gonna be able to trigger the vaporize. Most of her damage is gonna come from her normal attacks if you're using her as like on field main dps so yeah for main dps mona it's good but for like uh an orthodox normal build sub dps mona i don't think this weapon is gonna be pretty good except as like a stat stick sucrose no it's just not a weapon for her we've got yanfei um i think it's also just gonna be a stat stick for her because as i remember most of her damage is just gonna come from her uh, charge attacks this weapon is gonna buff her normal attacks damage so it's not gonna be as good even though she's gonna be able to like activate the passive she's just not gonna benefit from it you're gonna play her in like vaporize seems activate everything but most of her damage is going to come from her charge attacks this weapon is not going to be able to buff any of your charge attacks at all so this weapon is not going to be good on yanfei uh kokomi probably not no i mean if you're playing her as like a dps in a vaporize team i guess it can be used but i don't think that's a team you don't want to play kokomi in i don't think anyone's going to do that so yeah i don't think it's the, the weapon for kokomi yaimiko it's just no heizu is not just not a weapon nahida no wander would be able to use this passive it's gonna buff his normal attacks which is gonna be super good on him the problem is, is he's not pyro or hydro he's not gonna be played to the vaporize team so he just cannot unlock it and that's that's the thing with the weapon like it's very specific that even if you find like very good characters for the passive or like very good characters who can fully utilize the passive and unlock it they either cannot use it or just cannot unlock it so it's a very niche weapon in general but 
But yeah, he's just gonna vaporize, so the passive is gonna be fully locked for him, and he cannot use it at all. Beiju, no, it's not a weapon for him, except for like the HP bonus, but you don't want to use it on him. Grizzly will benefit from this weapon, but again, he cannot trigger any like uh, vaporize reactions, so it's not gonna be the weapon for him. Neviet, like the exact opposite, but he cannot benefit from the passive. It's gonna buff your uh, normal attacks, and he mostly uses charge attacks. Charlotte, she doesn't need like the weapons like that, and he doesn't need any crit or anything like that, so it's not the weapon for her. Shan Yu, no, definitely not. I don't think she even benefits from the crit. And then finally, we have Molani. Obviously, it's her own weapon. It's gonna be pretty good on her. And actually, by a long shot, uh, it's gonna be better than most weapons, even like the top weapons, by at least something like 25 to 30%. So if you're getting it from Molani, it's gonna be worth it for sure. It's her signature weapon, yes. But even as a signature, it's better than average. Like we have characters that their signature is not like a big jump. It is a big jump for Milani, that's for sure. So yeah, for Milani herself, it's definitely worth it. But yeah, as we've seen before, pretty much two characters can use this weapon, Klee and Milani. And for Klee, I don't even think it's gonna be the best in the slot. So yeah, it's just literally for like kind of two characters. All the rest of the characters, they either just cannot use the passive because it's gonna be locked for them because they cannot trigger vaporize. Or if they can do that, then they're just not gonna benefit from the buffs the passive gives you. That leaves us with just Klee and Milani. So should you wish for this weapon as like a value weapon as a five star weapon like if you're trying to get five star catalyst would you choose this as like your only catalyst i would say mm, probably not i mean it still has like the crit substat so that's always good um it's just like a premium thing of the game pretty much very hard to get crit so any weapon that has crit is gonna have some value but for the passive it's just very restricted to the point where even in the future i don't think many characters are gonna be able to use this weapon like they need to have a lot of things aligned for them to be able to use it if we're looking at like other stat sticks we have some things like the tome of the eternal flow or cash flow for example those were restricted weapons like if you go watch my previous videos about them i was saying they are restricted because they are like the hp needs to increase or decrease so you need a healer on the team or fear or whatever but the thing is even they are less restricted than that for this weapon is just there's no way of unlocking this passive unless you're like pyro or hydro and benefit from normal tax damage bonus but yeah they're less um restricted they also have crit substats so they're definitely like better options can we look at the days where like five star weapons used to be like actually good again like good value for account just very simple weapons i don't know like how these passives are getting more strict like literally i was just watching my previous um reviews for the cash flow and nuviet's weapon and at the time i was saying they're too strict the fact that i managed to be more stricter is just like crazy to me but yeah i repeat for milani is pretty good if you're getting it for her then go for it if not i would say it's for sure a skip but yeah don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video peace